What's up YouTube, this is Demkeys and today I'm gonna teach you how to print text one character at a time. So let's begin. Click game object, UI, panel. This is gonna create a canvas and within that canvas it'll create a panel. I've created this panel so that we have sort of a white background behind the text. Next, click game object, UI, text. Make sure the text is below the panel, otherwise it's gonna be displayed behind the panel, not in front. Set the font size to 30 and resize the text element. Erase the text in the text field and add a new script. Call this text effect one character at a time or four and open this up in mono develop okay we're going to start by typing using unity engine.ui next we need to create our variables now all the variables don't need to be public some of them can be private but just so that we can see the values i'm making all of them public public text ui text public string text entered public care array text entered split public care array text to print split public bool is printing and finally public float care print delay in the start Start method type UI text equals get component text. We are adding a reference to our text component. Next, text entered split equals text entered dot two char array. Here we are basically transforming the string into a char array and storing that in text entered split. Next, text to print split equals new char array, and we want the length to be equal to text entered split's length. Next, create an I enumerator function. Call this print text. Here type is printing equals true. Then for or int i equals zero i less than text entered split dot length i plus plus and within the for loop text to print split i equals text entered split i then string s equals new string and we want to add our text to print split char array over here next ui text dot text equals s then yield return new wait for seconds char print delay finally after the for loop is printing equals false now go into the update method type if input dot get key down key code dot space then if not is printing then initialize text to print split again the way we did in the start method and finally start core routine print text also go back to where you declared the variables and add a multi-line attribute above text entered hit save and now let's take a look at what's happening in the code you already know what's going on in the start method then in the update method we are checking if the user has pressed the space key if he has then we are checking if is printing is true if it is true then we initialize text to print split again so that we get an empty array and then we call start core routine print text now what's happening in print text print text is a core routine if you don't know what coroutines are, the basic idea is that they're like functions that have the ability to pause execution and continue from that same point at a later time. So what's happening here is we first set is printing to true. Then a for loop starts where a variable i is declared and its value is zero. And this for loop is going to continue as long as the value of i is less than whatever the length of text entered split is. Now within the for loop, we are basically reading each cell of text entered split and setting the value of that cell to the corresponding cell in text to print split. Next, we create a string called s and store the value of text to print split, which is a char array into s. Next, we set the value of ui text dot text to whatever the value of s is. And next we call yield return new wait for seconds. Let's say for example, char print delay is one yield return new wait for seconds will wait for one second and then pause the execution of this core routine and resume from this point again at the next frame now because this is still within the for loop the for loop will continue and as long as the for loop is continuing this statement is going to be called again and again finally once the for loop is done executing is print is going to be set to false now the reason why we are setting is printing to true at the beginning and is printing to false at the end is because while the printing is happening if the player presses the space key we don't want the print to be interrupted that is why before calling start core routine we first check if is printing is set to false so if is printing is set to false then we initialize text to print split again so that it gets reset and then we call start core routine now hit save go back to unity and let's set the values for our variables as you can see because we mentioned the multi-line attribute this is now a multi-line text field i'm going to enter some text over here you can enter whatever text you want try using the next line as well Okay, I've entered my text now. Next, we need to set char print delay. Uh, you can set this to whatever value you want. I'm gonna set it to 0.1. Hit play. And once I hit the space key, you'll notice is printing is set to true and it'll be true as long as the printing continues. Once the printing is done, 
is printing will be set to false. You'll also notice it is printing one character at a time and it also registers the next line character while also wrapping the text if it cannot fit in the same line. We can change the value to 0 0.01 and now when you press space it resets and it also prints much faster. So yeah, that's it. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you would like to watch more tutorials, you can click in the top left corner of the screen and in the top right is the link to my music channel where I post music that I make in my free time. In the bottom left corner, you have a preview for a small game that I made. The links for the project and the game build are in the description down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave your comments below and I'll see you guys next time.